for all this. It's, it's been such a such a such a journey, you know, to be involved in this meaningful documentary. And I have to thank Royston for roping me in to to be involved in this project. Um, really, this film uh, is meant for Singapore and and every Singaporean because the places that we have documented. Um, they are fast, you know, they are, they are very soon is going to be gone or some already gone. And uh, it is our responsibility as a filmmaker to, to archive and to document these places that meant a lot for, for everyone or some of the people who, who have special memories there. So uh, with this DVD uh, and, you know, this launch, uh, I think you know, we are so happy that we can give back to to, uh, to to Singapore, you know, something that I believe that you will be cherished uh, in many years to come. Um, for me, I really, really <coughs> didn't expect uh, that we will have a DVD. I didn't expect that, you know, it has drawn such a huge audience. Um, when I was doing it, I was just doing something very simple for my heart. I just want to do it and do it good. And the response that uh, we got actually overwhelmed us. I didn't really expect that. So I have to say thank you very much for the support. It's very sincere virtually. Um, we didn't know that what we're doing has actually captured a lot of memories from the public as well. So actually I have to say that all places not only belong to us, but actually it's really to belong to everyone to every Singaporean, this is what I wish for. Hello everyone, um, my name is Rick Royston and I'm very, ha very happy to be uh, working together with um, Patrick and Eva on this project. Um, uh, I think it, it's, this project happened because it's all out of love for, uh, for the places that we want to archive. Uh, especially for Singaporeans and um, before we start this project um, a lot of that we, we went through a lot of uh, discouragement uh, mostly from people who uh, uh, people who rejected us in terms of the funding and things like that because they asked us this question you know uh, <coughs> Singapore we are constantly upgrading we are constantly evolving and changing upgrading for better things and uh, how much is sentiments and nostalgia meant to to each and every one of you and is it worth is it worth worth, worth, worth it at all to even capture all this simple story and then the reaction in uh in our first uh, broadcast in tv and in kinokunia and also now here i think the answer is very obvious and i think this has been one of our most happy projects that we have ever done and we just want to share this with each and every one of you here. Thank you. Oh, I think that one of the interesting things about and groundbreaking things about this documentary is, um, even though it's made from for television, it had a very filmic approach. Even just like the structure, not only the cinematography. Uh, maybe you can share with us like how you guys uh, approached it, or in the beginning. How did you come about with uh, the style that you, you chose for the documentary? Uh, I think I think for when the talk it will be <laughs> 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 okay, special effect. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I, I think for us as a filmmaker, a lot of times uh, we we create uh, or we try to interpret certain things, but for all places, uh, I think the backdrop, the the style of the whole show itself is actually the place, the spirit, and even the little cracks on the wall, um, and, 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 and all, all these are the little, little things that we want to capture. Uh, we, we, it's hard to capture a form, but uh, within, within the film we try to capture what we, we see and what, what the camera sees and what our heart feels. So to embody the whole two elements together. And, and, and also because I think there's different kinds of history. There's an the official history that we read in the textbook, but there's also uh, interesting personal <coughs> history of people, of memories that actually, that I think to us is a lot more interesting and more personal. And 
with, with this kind of elements together, we adopt a very uh, filmic and poetic way of trying to kept slowly moving the camera to capture uh, uh, and, 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 uh, and shooting it like a time capsule kind of thing. I think uh, what is very obvious is that uh, even though uh, this is supposed as a TV program commissioned by Auto Channel, but the three of us as actually we make films. So actually that's why uh, this is our speciality. We want it to be a more filmic uh, approach in the beginning already. And also we also want to show to our local TV stations because like every time we have worked a lot of TV programs, they always <coughs> want us to adapt to the format. You, know, you have to be, you know, uh, you know, approachable for TV audience. But sometimes we have to agree and disagree with that because um, um, we have to show that actually there's a lot of audience out there will appreciate this kind of approach too. And I'm glad that you have shown to us that really it was not really that something that's highbrow or something that is, you know, uh, that people will not relate to. From the audience response and from the DVD launch, we know that uh, we're on the right path. So um, this is something that I think that we really have to uh, fight for what we believe in. And obviously, uh, the three of us have very different style <coughs> in uh, making our own films. So when we come together to, to make this film, I think we went through a process of brainstorming how we should approach uh, this documentary. And I think one of the key elements uh, in, in approaching this uh, this film is that the, we do not want to have a very strong hand of the filmmaker in this film. We decided to take not just a step back, but a few steps back, you know, and you know, allow the camera to be like the eye of an, uh, uh, of an acute observer, you know, observing every detail, every space that we are trying to capture. And so, you know, when the viewer or the audience watch the film, uh, he or she feels like, you know, he's the one who is watching the space. So, um, uh, and we are very glad that we adopt this approach, you know, very subtle and very uh, unimposing. And, um, and I'm glad that Roy, you know, brought in another, uh, 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 another uh, interesting uh, uh, um, factor in this film, uh, is that you know, he invites the public, you know, to narrate their s memories and their stories. So while even you are listening to their stories or their memories, it feels like it's your memory as well, it's your story as well. So everything uh, uh, that we design for this documentary is uh, very subtle and very unimposing. And we are very glad that with this style, uh, it has received very, uh, very good feedback. And I'd like to add one more point, is that one of the charm that all places have is that it has so many different languages. And this is something that we don't really see in our local broadcast because there's always said that you know, English channel is for English language and Chinese is for Chinese language, which is which is something that we really go beyond that because we have so many languages in the Malay, Chinese dialects, Teochew, Hokkien, uh, Hainanese, everything is in it. So this is really you know a slice of our life. We have to be very truthful to reality the where we are, the world that we're living, and this is what I think is also one of the success that it has brought to the project. I'm sure you guys uh, had many, many like stories that were submitted to you and lots of people writing to you. And not every uh, story that you heard that was good could make the cut because of obviously the duration and um, limited resources. Maybe you can share with us some of uh, your favorites that uh, you know couldn't make it or some of the favorites uh, from the film itself that made it and why you chose to include it in 